What's up guys, Cody here with Thompson Performance. Today's video is for you surfers out there. And in today's exercises, we're gonna cover stability, strength, and power. Three major components to any good surf program. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys three simple low body exercises you can throw in your program today to improve your performance in the water. This first exercise I'm gonna show you guys is a stability exercise. This one's gonna fire up all the stabilizers in the ankle, knee, around the hip joint. It's a great way to improve your balance. It's also something you can throw in as part of your warm up before you get into your strength and power exercises. So for this one, we're gonna start on one leg, hands on the hip, and we're just gonna slowly reach forward with our opposite leg, out to the side. Then we're gonna open those hips and rotate back. The goal here is keeping that knee in line as well as maintaining our balance in that single leg position. This next exercise I'm gonna show you guys is a rear foot elevated split squat. This is a great exercise for strength, for your whole low body. It's really challenging on your balance as well, and it's gonna really fire up that core too. To get in position, you wanna find a stable surface that's about up to your knees in height. Begin by driving that back foot up onto that surface and putting all that weight through your front heel. The goal here is gonna be keeping that front heel planted into the ground, and we don't want that front knee to be crossing over the toes. Our last exercise is gonna be a squat jump. This is our power exercise. Once you've built up a solid foundation of stability and strength, you can start implementing the squat jump in there to improve power output. I know everyone wants to improve their power, but it is important that we get a nice foundation of stability and strength before we move into this next exercise. Our goal with this exercise is to put as much force into the ground as possible, but we do wanna make sure we have a nice safe landing as well. That's it for today's video guys, thanks for watching. And remember, if you're gonna be implementing any of these exercises, it's important that you always start with a dynamic warm up. I wanna prime the system before we get things going. Also, if you're gonna be following along all three of these exercises, best bet is to start with your stability work, then go into your power work, and you wanna finish with your strength work at the end. See you guys in the water.